Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Uh, I do a bunch of stuff on my Patreon if you want to support me. I'd really appreciate that. And then, um, yeah, reach out to me on Discord. It's a good place for that. And I'm doing a problem today based on someone in my Discord's recommendation. So, uh, you know, you can ask me to do problems in the here too and I'll, you know, try and get to all of them. So, um, we're doing this one is what, uh, I was sent today, uh, binary tree maximum path sum. So the problem is a hard problem. So you might have to bear with me. It might be a little bit longer than usual. Uh, but I, I, I just did it and it wasn't too difficult. Like lines of code wise, it's pretty easy. It's almost really like a medium level difficulty. It's just the concepts a little bit difficult. So let's just get into it. Uh, binary tree maximum sum path given a non-empty binary tree find the maximum path sum and if you guys uh, recall what binary is it's a base two number system where you have zeros and ones uh, binary tree means that there's two leaves there's no more than two leaves per node so if you look here like there's going to be two leaf nodes at the, uh, each level the, the level doesn't have to be completely filled it's not a complete binary tree but uh, there's not going to be like three leaves per node or whatever like that. So um, for this problem, a path is defined as any sequence. Of this So this is the important part. For this problem, a path is defined as any sequence of nodes from some starting node to any node in the tree along the parent-child connections. Okay. So some starting node... Not And also, the path must contain at least one node. So the path, mu path must be at least one node. And does not need to go through the root. Okay. Um, so we don't need to use the root. And if we look at these examples, it is any nodes has to be at least one. And it is it just has to travel along a path connecting parent and children nodes. So it could start at node two and go up to one, then three. Um, it cannot go from one to two, then three, or one to three, then two. It has to travel a path using these little parent connection bars here. For example, in this one, we also have negative numbers. Uh, these are, nodes can have values that are negative, and that's why this is a little bit more difficult than usual. Um, so in this case, we wouldn't want it to be like the negative uh, 10, 20, 15, 7, because we could just say, no, we don't want the negative 10, and then boom, 20, 15, 27. Um, so there you go. Um, how do we do this? So if there were all positive numbers, and we wanted to find a path from the root to a leaf, then I think we did that one before. And you just kind of traverse on the left and right sides. You keep a maximum variable. And uh, that's pretty much it. You'll come out with the right answer. In this problem, we're going to do it recursively. But the only difference is we're going to be traversing this tree. But we need to keep track. We are going to keep a maximum variable. So we're returning the maximum path sum. So let's just call it max path sum. Um, and we'll initialize it to a negative like you do with maximum variables. So we'll say max path sum is equal to integer dot min value, right? And we're also going to use a helper method. So our helper method will be called path sum. So it'll just be, you know, the current path sum. And it'll take in a node. Great. Um, and we'll be updating this max in our helper method. And in the end, we'll be returning the max. We'll pass in our root node to our helper method. So we'll call path sum on our root. And this is where the fun begins. And by fun, I mean, you know, thinking, I guess, which isn't that fun, honestly. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just in my head a little bit, I guess. Um, so each node has a value, a left node, and a right node, right? And then we know it's a binary tree. So um, what we're going to want to do is, well, first of all, if the node is null, we're going to return zero. Because, like, for example, if we were just given a null node and we pass that in as the root, there's no path sum there, so we just return zero. That's fine. Um, what we want to do is we want to check the left and right subtrees recursively. Traversal. A recursive traversal down the left and right subtrees. 
um, you, and we'll keep these values using left and right variables. So left will be, um, you know, math.max of zero, we'll pass in zero, and then the recursive call on the left node, node.left. I think we have an extra parenthesis. And right will be the max of zero and node.right. And these values are going to return the path sum for that particular, uh, for this particular node down the left and right, keeps going. Um, it's kind of like a current path sum, I guess I would say. Uh, we will return the max dot math dot max of the left or right, depending on which one's greater, and the current node value. So, I mean, I just got to show you the. the um, let's let's just code it out, and then I'll explain everything. Because I just got to show you they have a great solution. So, um, like diagrams and stuff like that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna update the max each time. Max is going to be equal to left uh, math.max of uh, the current max, and then left plus right plus node.val. There we go. This is the solution. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to look at, I'm gonna, we're gonna show you how this works, um, just so you understand. First of all, let's simplify the problem and implement a function called whatever, uh, which takes the which takes the node as an argument, computes the maximum contribution that this node and, and one of its subtrees could add. So that's what this met method is doing, path sum. Um, one of its subtrees because, for example, if we have 10, we can, if this was the path we were going to do, we're going 10, 20, 15. We can't do 10, 20, 15, and 7. We can't do negative 10, 9, 20. It's, it has to just be, it has to be like a straightforward path. Like, um, you can't visit and then go backwards. There's no backtracking allowed here. It's just, you, it's just connected nodes. So you could go, for example, like you can go in this direction. It doesn't matter what direction you go in, but you can't, um, you know, go multiple directions. So if I'm going down, I can't go left and then go up. You know what I mean? It has to be, um the a constant flow no back going backwards first of all let's simplify the problem in other words the maximum gain could have including the node in one of its trees okay so what they're saying is let's let's look at this at a recursive level you pass in the root and you keep recursing on the left and right sides these two lines right here the left and right integer variables that are going to return the path sum these two calls if you guys know how recursion works, the you won't get to these lines until you're at the leaf nodes, right? Because it's going to go, it calls this left call, then it goes recursive call, then it calls the left again and again and again until you're at the leftmost node, right? And uh, that would happen. You pass in the root, you go here, um, you pass in the root, it, re it recurses on the left, it passes in this 9, recurses on the left, that's a null value, so it returns 0. And then... Uh, you're back to the previous call, so it recurses on the right, it returns 0, and you're on that 9. You're going to check the max path sum with the left plus right plus node val, left plus right me being uh, 0, 0, because 9's left and right are 0. The current max path sum is negative whatever, the integer min val, and then um, the current node value, so 9. So obviously it'll get updated to 9, because 0 plus 0 plus 9 is better than integer dot min value. And um, then we return the max of the left or right plus the node value, which is just 9. So what that returns to is then 10's left value. So it's all this a giant recursive call here um, where the max path sum is kind of just this trick, tricky, cool variable to help us calculate the max path sum and um, kind of feeds off these little recursive calls here. And um, these, it's confusing because you have all this recursion happening beforehand, and then it goes like a level, it's going a level forward and backwards and getting confusing. But like, um, once this has a value to return, I guess, then 
it'll return to a previous call. The max path sum can then use these variables because they will have values when something is getting returned from a previous call to calculate the max. And uh, you could see here, they give you examples like max from node 9 is going to be 9, so it gets updated. Um, 15 is 15, there's no children. 7 7, so the leaf nodes just, like their max paths is just, if it was just the singular nodes, it would just be the values, right? Um, from node 20, though, what we're seeing is we're getting a max, uh, we're updating the max with the left plus right plus node dot val so that's why the maximum is going to be 15 20 and 7 you know what i mean so which is um 35 plus 7 which is 42 so you know how do we know not to include negative values well the negative values don't get included because we're only updating the max when it's greater and if we added this negative 10 in when we recurse the recursive calls keep going up you know it'll be 2015 and 7 that max gets updated and eventually it all just becomes you know the right variable of the negative 10 up here then we check the right plus the left which is you know um negative 10 plus um the right side plus 9 is it's not as big as you know this this little combo right here so you just have to um you know, it kind of goes, the maximums are getting calculated from the bottom level to the root, basically. Because the recursive calls go boom, 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 all the way down to the leafs. And then the maximum uh, values get calculated through subtrees going upwards, upwards, upwards. And uh, until you get to the root. And it's just really, um, it's. Pr I, I think I've explained it pretty well. I mean, there's a... Uh, you keep the integer max value so they don't get updated. When you start adding smaller values or negative values, if you've got your max, they're not gonna. It's not gonna get updated. You know, you already found it, and um, you're just returning the left and right. I already explained that too. Just because uh, left or right, just because um, you know. I mean, this this solution's really good. I think you guys should go through it. I mean. It's pretty good. So, like, they give you everything, honestly. I under This is how I understood everything. Um, max sum is the smallest integer. We set it up there, right? We set max sum to the smallest integer. You call your recursive method to calculate the left and right subtrees, right? Then you want to check to continue or remain, continue a new path or remain on the old path by calculating. I mean, they're variable names. I didn't like that much, so I changed them a little bit, but... Um, yeah, you calculate left, right, and node val. And you see if it's better than what we already have. Um, and then you update it if you, you don't want to include things that are smaller. I mean, I don't know how many other ways I could say this. I mean, I just want to make sure I'm clear because it is a hard problem. Um, for recursion, return the max gain in the node, one of its zeros, whatever. And then we have this little thing. I mean, this thing, like I watched this and I understood it perfectly, right? You call this method, work, ours is called path sum, theirs is max gain. You pass in the root, right? It does all these recursive calls. It does left first, so it goes to the leftmost first. Hits nine. Nine is no children, so we just get a returned value of nine because left and right are zero plus nine. Um, then you got 20. 20 keeps recursing on the left now. Because you call the you called the right, but then the left is the next line. Um, the left has no value, so you got the 15s. F 15, it updates, max sum gets updated to 15, because now we have found something better. 7, 7 doesn't update it because it's smaller than 15. 15 is so far our best viable path right now. Then we break up to the 20, finally out of those bottom level recursive calls. And we see... Okay, the left plus right plus the node value is 20 plus 15 plus 7. And we have a maximum of 42. And then it recurses to the top level, but it's a negative, and we check against the max, and it's less, so we don't update it. You know, it's. I think that's uh, pretty much it. I don't know what else you need explained to you. Um, let me know if you guys have a difficult time. I think I traced it pretty well, but... Um, I could see this being a medium problem, honestly. It's not too difficult. There's a medium. There's a couple medium problems on here that look like they should be hard, and this should be medium. I mean, look, it's not that many lines. 
They give you great solution. I think it's a little tricky to understand at first, but I like w- I look through it a few times. I understand it perfectly now, and um, I mean, let me know if you still don't get it. I mean, I think <laughs> I don't know what else I could do. I really couldn't do anything else to explain it to you. Like, just watch this diagram a few times. Look through the discussion. Try and understand what they're saying. Uh, time and space complexity. We got linear for time because you're traversing all the nodes. But um, space, they say log of n. That is wrong, actually, because worst case is actually linear. Because it could uh, the tree could be set up, so it could be worst case. Um, and the, you see, this person says it right here should be o of n. But um, you know what? Look, explain why we return you know node plus left of right. Um, you know they got a bunch of stuff in here. Check out the discussion, like. He, this, he'll just say what I said, though, you know. I laid it out pretty carefully, so maybe go back and listen. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you. F- shout out to whoever suggested this, uh, Atlee, in the Discord. Please join the Discord, guys. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. All right. See ya.